Welcome back to my Low Factor channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use your sourdough starter discard to make the best damn dog treats in the world, according to Rocco anyway. And all you'll need is a few simple ingredients. If you don't already have everything you see here, you can certainly make substitutions. Just do a quick Google first to make sure that anything you add to the recipe is safe for your dog to eat. I like to run the rolled oats through a food processor to smooth out the final texture, but that's completely optional. Then let's start mixing in the ingredients, starting with the liquids. In a large mixing bowl, start by pouring in the vegetable oil. Then drop in your sourdough starter discard. Give that a good mix before stirring in your peanut butter and honey that'll give the flavor and natural sweetness that your dog will absolutely love. Then another good mix before we turn to our dry ingredients. Now toss in the cinnamon for both taste and health benefits, followed by the oh-so-nutritious cornmeal and rolled oats. Now one final really good mix in the bowl before we turn it out onto our work surface for the final touches. Now sprinkle on the baking powder, which will add just a bit of levity to the dough. Go ahead and work that in by kneading it just for a minute. At this point, your dough might look a little wetter or drier than you see here. So it's just a matter of mixing in some of the reserve flour until you get to the consistency you like. It should still feel a bit wet, but still dry enough to roll out without crumbling apart. Now an easy trick to square the sides is to simply take a pizza cutter to each side and then roll the scraps back into the center of the dough. This way we'll use all the dough and every treat will have nice squared edges. But now it's on to the fun part because I've developed an easy trick to get a paw mark on every treat without any special equipment or stamps. All you need is five chopsticks and a bit of tape. Ideally the chopsticks would have nice rounded sides on both ends, but don't worry if they don't. So just line up four of your chopsticks and put a piece of tape around them on the skinny end. Leave just a bit of space between each chopstick. Then grab your last chopstick and reverse it so the thick end is facing the other pointy ends. Then just wrap the taped small ends around it and add another piece of tape to hold it in place. You'll see this makes a perfect little paw stamp for our treats. Now just grab a pizza slicer and cut lines in both directions at whatever size you want your treats. Don't worry about separating them now as we can do it much more easily after they're baked. Then it's time to try out your stamp. If you're happy with it, then just stamp away in any order you'd like until every treat has a paw print. While you're doing this, you can make sure your oven is preheating, because the only step left is to pop it in the oven. No baking stone, steel, or even steam is needed for this bake. Just bake it for 20 to 30 minutes until it gets to the color and dryness you're after. If you leave it for less time, it'll be a crumbly treat. And if you leave it until it's darker brown, then you'll have some treats that your dog will really need to crunch into to get through. Once cooled for 10 to 20 minutes, the treat should easily come apart. Then all that's left to do is try out your handiwork on your toughest critic. So, what do you think, Rocco? Ah, success. To be fair though, he loves eating just about anything that comes out of that oven. So give it a go. I'm guessing your dog will go crazy for these treats as well. And then you'll finally know exactly what's in the treat when you reach for that next reward. Let me know how it works out for you in the comments below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Now back to work on the upcoming baguette series for me. Bye for now.